I was born in Vietnam. My dad was a lieutenant in the Vietnamese army. Mm -hmm. His side lost. And after he got out of re-education camp, he said, we need to leave this country because I am not going to live under a communist government. Mm -hmm. So he bought a boat, learned how to become a fisherman, and one day called my mom to come down, not say anything to the rest of the family, and just get on the boat. So we were one of the, I think, two million boat people who left Vietnam. And eventually we resettled in Knoxville, Tennessee. Wow, you have a really interesting background because I literally work across the street from the hospital I was born in. That's wonderful, <laughs> right? Yeah, so just getting on a boat and going to a totally different place, that's pretty amazing. Your parents had a lot of courage to do that, I think. Yeah. And then to settle in Tennessee. <laughs> I think that's the reason why we were able to make it. We were one of the first Vietnamese to show up in Knoxville, Tennessee, but they opened their arms and gave my parents jobs as house cleaners and gardeners, pretended to like the smelly spring rolls and fish sauce that my mom would give as gifts. So I think being resettled in Knoxville gave me a really good sense of what this country is and how if you give people a little bit of a leg up, then they can sort of find their own way. What, what are your political values? I have a live and let live attitude. It seems like there are too many people who are trying to impose their beliefs or values on others. Do you feel like people misunderstand you? Yes, and it's intentional. <laughs> I do tend to keep things close to the vest because I don't want to be pigeonholed. Mm. I have to say I really appreciate that you don't want to be pigeonholed in any certain way. Yeah. What are you most hopeful about? Probably that we recognize that we are all Americans. I saw Maya Angelou before she died, and she described the United States not as a melting pot, but as a gumbo. And I really like that because we are all individuals, but we're in one pot. And as we work together, it makes ourselves better mm -hmm. in the whole dish, the whole country better. That's so beautiful. that's my, my hope. I appreciated speaking with you, and uh, I hope that we could keep in touch. Me too. I've really deeply valued this. This has been awesome.